Yes, guys, welcome back to Hair System DIY. I hope you're having a great day. The sun is shining in the UK. It doesn't feel like winter quite yet. It's still super warm. More importantly, I hope you're enjoying my content. If you are and you're not yet subscribed, please do hit the notification bell, hit the subscribe button. You'll be notified as to when I make new content. It will come up as a notification on your phone and you can watch the video straight away. If you're in need of a system right now, New Lace CU have an amazing array of poly and lace base. Now, there's not a lot of lace base available right now. So the fact that New Lace have a heck of a lot of it, I would take them up on that offer and I would check their website. So www.newlacecu.com. The next one that I've got from them is a lovely, lovely French lace, and I can't wait to get it fitted. It's breathable, it's breezy, it's light, it's natural, it gives an invisible hairline. I absolutely can't wait. So today let's talk about what the first month is like when you start wearing a system. Now, it's weird. It does feel weird. It feels itchy. It feels uncomfortable at times. It's kind of like wearing a hat all the time. And that can get quite irritating after a while. However, don't despair. This feeling goes away. And I'm gonna get a little bit scientific now. So let me give you an example. Have you ever had floaters in your eye and they're really annoying and they don't seem to go away? And then after a while, they seem to go away. I'm gonna give you a little reality check here. They don't go away, your brain just forgets about them. And it's exactly the same with a hair system. So basically the way the brain works is that with floaters, it's not helpful for you to be always noticing floaters. If anything is irritating, after a while, your brain recognises that it's not a threat to you. And as a result, it just ignores it and you don't even pick up on it anymore. Unless you really look for it. The same is true of having a hair system in your head. After a while, your brain realises it's not a threat, it's not going to hurt you and it just forgets about it. This can take time. In my experience and from what I've seen in forums and other videos, it can take anything from one to four months. For me, it took about a month. That first month, I felt like there was a hat on my head all the time. I was very conscious of wearing it. It could get itchy at times. I wanted to keep removing it and then replacing it. But after that month passed, it's just like something changed. And I remember I went the next week after that month, not even noticing that it was on my head. And obviously I knew I had hair there, but it didn't feel any different. It just felt like part of me. And when you get to that point, you know that you've passed the most difficult time of wearing a system. So my advice would be, if you get itchiness, if you get discomfort, the first month to four months of wearing a system, please don't give up. Stick with it. It will be 100% worth it. And I can promise you that your brain will get used to it and you won't even notice it anymore. Now, there's a couple of things that I found really helpful in that first month. Number one, I used a really sensitive tape and glue for sensitive scalp. Honestly, guys, that really does help. If you've got, I've got sensitive scalp anyway, so there's a bit of a hair in my face. Um, I've got sensitive scalp anyway, but those first few months wearing a tape that's actually made for sensitive skin really did make a difference. Same with the glue. So personally, I wouldn't necessarily recommend using a solvent-based adhesive. I wouldn't recommend using a really harsh tape either because that can irritate the scalp and it can make your head even itchier than it will already feel right now. Go for the safest, most pH neutral products. A second thing that I would recommend for people who are in those early stages of wearing a system, I remember the scariest thing for me was doing my first clean and rebond. 
Now, if you felt nervous like I did, I'd advise that after you get it fitted by a trained stylist, keep it on your head for as long as you can. I'm talking maybe even four weeks, just so you can really learn to feel comfortable with wearing a system. Also, it can give you time to watch a couple of YouTube videos, maybe a couple of mine or a couple of the other guys out there that teach you how to remove and how to rebond your system. Or if you can afford it, I did it myself, but if you can afford it, maybe schedule in to see your stylist in about a month from first getting it fitted because then they can do it for you. They can do a couple of walkthroughs with you. Actually, I know people who have done that for the first four months. At the end of the day, the way I see it is it's like learning to ride a bike. Actually, I think it's probably easier than learning to ride a bike. And you know, what did we do when we were kids when we were learning to ride a bike? If we fell over, we got up and we tried again. We fell over, we got up, we tried again. And it's the same with bonding and removing a hair system. I made a couple of fuck ups the first time I did it. That's natural, that happens to everyone. But sometimes you have to fall to succeed. Please don't be hard on yourself if you make a couple of mistakes in the early days. I still make the odd mistake now and I've been doing this for three years. It's not a perfect science, but the more you do it, the more proficient you get at it and the more confident you get at it. Guys, really, there's nothing to worry about. I know it seems scary. I know it seems overwhelming and intimidating, but you can do this. So that's all I've got for you today, guys. I hope you found it helpful. If you've got your own experiences from when you start, first started wearing a system, please do share them in the comment box below. If you're new to wearing a system or you haven't started yet and uh, you've got some fears about doing so, about how you're gonna sort of rebond and clean, do please share below. Let's get a discussion going here. I just wanna reassure everyone to just make them aware that this really just takes a bit of practice, a couple of YouTube tutorials, and it shouldn't be a problem for you. So please guys, it's within your power to do this and to get it right. Till next time guys, bye for now.